Welcome to part three of how to play percussion. We're going to start off with how you stand. Uh, we stand in percussion when we play. Um, and there's going to be times when we're not playing in percussion, and you're welcome to sit during those times. Um, and we'll have chairs in a certain spot in our classroom, and we'll show you where you can just sit and rest when we're doing other stuff. Maybe I'm working with a different section or something. That's fine. But whenever it's time to play, you're going to stand. Uh, make sure you're, again, like we talked about in our last video, your drum is the right height for you or your bells, whichever one we're using. Um, and so you're going to stand nice and tall. So next thing, before we talk about how to hold our sticks with our hands, just hold on to them for now. And just rest your hands and your arms holding your onto your sticks next to your side. And then just bring up your hands from the elbows. So don't bend, it, so only bend at the elbow and then bring your hands up. Okay, and that's kind of how you're going to be ready to play. A um, couple things. As you bring your hand up, make sure that your wrist is straight. We don't want our wrists bent like this. Okay, we're not going to be playing like this. You want to have straight wrists. So that might mean, obviously, your hands aren't going to be this close together because you're not going to play that way. So you have to move your hands out a little bit with straight wrists. So your hand, when you put the stick in your hand, it kind of comes across your hand like this. And then it goes across your first finger at this knuckle here, at this first knuckle. So, and then your finger kind of lightly wraps around. And then your thumb just goes on the opposite side of that first knuckle. Okay, so kind of like this. And your stick comes across. Now you want just a little bit of stick coming out the end. Not a lot, but not none, right? And then these three fingers just loosely wrap around. And there's going to be a lot of times when we're playing that the stick is actually going to move in between those fingers. Um, but this is, this is the point with which you're going to hold them with. Okay. So tr hold, it, hold your stick. Go ahead and hold on to it like that. Um, and practice that a little bit. Just practice holding it the right way with both hands. So this hand the same way. Okay. And then again, practice standing and then bringing your arms up in playing position and then we move our wrists up to be ready to play and we will play with what we call down up strokes okay so down up strokes with straight wrists with your mallets it's the same same um, way we hold it okay same finger and thumb holds it the mallet sticks out the end a little bit has a little bit of wiggle room as you play and, and then we, we, we hold them the same way. We bring it up, and then we play with down-up strokes on the mallets. Okay, same thing. This is what we call a matched grip. Um, in percussion, we have matched grip, and we have traditional grip. And traditional grip we use mostly for marching band, which we won't be doing in middle school. Um, so we're going to be doing matched grip for both mallets and for snare drum. So practice uh, for now getting your instrument out um, and setting it up and then putting it away. Um, and then also practice holding your sticks or mallets. I have, I have a snare drum and mallets, but practice holding them and practice with a down up stroke just in the air for now. And, um, and then practice putting everything away. Um, it's important that you do that because in class we have to get ready fairly quickly and then we have to put it away fairly quickly. We get ready quickly because we want to have as much time as possible to play in band. We don't want to uh, waste time. And then, and then uh, I try and teach as much during class as possible, then I'll give you some time to pack up before the bell rings, in which you have to go to the next class. And you want to be able to get everything packed up, put away, and out, and put where it goes, and then get off to your next class and make sure that you're not late. So it's really helpful for you to practice that getting it out and putting it away a few times. Um, so that you're prepared for that. So I would say practice, let's say, pretend today's a snare drum day. Get your snare drum out, get it set up, get ready to go, make sure you your sticks. Um, practice a few air strokes, down up strokes, and then, and then put it back away. And then practice the whole thing over again with the mallets, with the bells. Get those out, get them set up, and just like we talked about, and then put them back away. And it'll be really helpful if you practice that because then when you get to class, you're not going to be the last one ready and you're going to be ready to play in time for the rest of us. So, so we're going to use all the time that we have. Okay. Um, so join us for our next video where we'll talk some more about percussion 
and, um, and we'll get to playing pretty soon here. So we'll see you then.